Hello YouTube, my name is Paul, hope you're keeping well. Welcome back to another Spotlight video. It was about time I stuck one of these up on YouTube because I've not done one for quite some time. Now the game featuring in this video is uh, an Amiga title I remember very well for its really bad review. And that game is Last Action Hero. A game that sold only 2,000 copies. And when you see the reviews for this game, you can probably understand why. It's based on an Arnold Schwarzenegger film that I've never seen, to be completely honest with you. Never appealed to me even back then. The game was published by Psygnosis in 1994 and developed by Dome, a name you would associate with people like me. But yeah, the game itself was coded by Paul Carpenter, graphics were done by Roy Stewart and the music by Mike Clark. So inside the box then you get the usual biodegradable Psygnosis box, which became quite common in the later sort of period of the Amiga's life. Registration card as per usual, instruction booklet, and a couple of discs. All you, all you need to play this game. But yeah, so yeah, my memory stems from that Amiga Power um, review. I'll just take you through a bit of it. Uppers, you must be joking. Downers, sorry, but I finished this on my first game and there's no way on earth was I playing right through it again to get screenshots of the other three levels. They're exactly the same, with slightly different graphics. Right? The bottom line, staggeringly poor beat em up that doesn't even give you the chance to walk from location to location by yourself. Stand still, hold down the fire button and you'll deal with absolutely everything that comes your way, bosses included. At least as bad as dan Dangerous Streets, and both Psygnosis and the Dome should be utterly ashamed of themselves. They've got three bloody percent. Unbelievable. So yeah. That was a game that used to cost about £100 to pick up. Um, it took me ages to find it at a decent price, but I ended up paying about £95 for it anyway, so I didn't really save a lot of money. But nowadays you can pick it up for sort of 60 quid. So yeah, so some games do actually go down in price, including some of the more obscure titles. But I think on eBay at the moment it's probably about four copies for sale. Three from the same seller. But yeah, so what we'll do is we'll have a blast of this particular game. Um, I have played it before, I've given it a go, but we'll give it a decent sort of five, ten minute blast. I might just stand in the middle of the screen holding the fire button, see what actually happens. So let's go and check out this flaming game. Welcome to what was probably one of the worst reviewed games ever in uh, Amiga Power. I think there's only one other I can think of that got a lower score uh, than Last Action Hero. So let's crack on. So this is probably, or was probably, one of my favourite um, genres back in the day. The old side-scrolling beat-em-up. So how's it fair against some of the other cracking uh, side-scrolling beat-em-ups of the 16-bit era? Let's find out. So Schwarzenegger, Last Action Hero, Admit 1, I guess that's the old cinema ticket. Quite clever, I suppose. Lives free, difficulty mild. I did have a go just now. It's not as easy as the magazine made out. Yeah, the music's quite good. A little bit repetitive. All very, uh, kind of rock and roll, if you like that sort of thing. Rock and roll? Ain't quite rock and roll, is it, Paul, you twat? Level 1, Foot Patrol. I've got no idea who that guy is. Who the fuck is that? Right. It comes on two discs. There's not really a lot of disc swapping. Would you be pleased to know? Here we go. Some hunky dude. So if you just stood there and pushed the button, oh dear, you've, got, you've actually got to move. So straight away, Amiga Power's review is wrong. So does it make the game better than 3%? Typical affair, really. Just got waves of bad guys coming at you. Kind of like a Streets of Ragey, Final Fighty, Double Dragon style game, really. I can't imagine getting off this level. It does automatically take you to the next stage. You can't actually walk yourself. That's very true. I 
not quite sure what I did there, but yeah, not many moves. So one of them is punch, as you can see. I think up and button is kick. By the time you actually get into a kick move, you're being booted around the screen. Yeah, not much colour on the graphics, which is quite a, well, quite a shocker, really. See, has got a nice colour palette. Looks like it's in 16 colours or something. Not any animation on the main character either. Well, actually, the legs don't move too badly, but his arms are like frigging dangling. What's going on? Yeah, so the myth of actually standing there and just punching is, is completely wrong. And it's not as easy as the magazine's made out, to be honest. I think there's not much in the way of variety when it comes to the enemy. You might only have two different types. There's some down and button move. I'm not quite sure what the hell's going on with his neck. I'll show you in a minute. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. I guess you grab, is it? Oh, maybe not. I don't know. No idea what the hell he's supposed to do with that. One life down already. Oh, for God's sake. So three different types of enemy. The knife doesn't actually leave that guy's hand, though. Which is a shame. I don't think that lady actually chucks a whip at you either. Yes, she does. Kick her in a flipping face. Roundhouse kick. Yeah, not a lot of animation on that, really. And quite an ineffective move. Come on, you flipping tarts. What are you doing? That's diagonal down and button by the looks of it. Yeah. What is that? That's brilliant. Yeah, so level design in terms of how it looks, I wouldn't say it's particularly great. Animation is not particularly great. Not much in the way of uh, choice when it comes to moves. Most effective move that is actually the punch. And now I'm in bloody trouble. Yeah, not quite a, a walk in the park as the magazine suggests. I kind of get the point that there's not really much you need to do to dispense with the enemy. So you're tall, you're tall, you score on the top of the screen there. Down the bottom, obviously the player's health, and either side of that is. The enemy's health. That's pretty much it. I can't imagine me getting off level one, to be honest with you. But yeah, you can st literally stand there and keep your finger on the button, assuming that the enemy come for you, come for you in one direction, which they don't. Fuck up. slow down there. Unusual. It's more like it. Ah, a bit of knee in the bollocks there going on as well. Renegade style. Do you like that? It's getting kicked across the screen at the moment. What the fuck is going on? One life left. Jack Slater 4. What's that all about? I don't quite know what the film's about, so I'm not really sure how that kind of ties in, really. Ah, yeah, very, very repetitive. Very, very repetitive. Even the music's very, very repetitive. Fuck off. 
I'd like to get off level one. That'd be cool. Bastard. Come on. There's no timer either, which is quite unusual for a fighting game. Oh, these are flipping up. Oh, come on. <laughs> he looks like he's just so, like, aloof, doesn't he? Your character. Look at him. It's not here, baby. I'm not quite sure what else the bone made, actually. I need to check it out and see if there are other efforts are as bad as this. Or did they make Dangerous Streets? There we go, dead. Nice Robocop effect there with the old uh, blooded screen. I won't cheat and continue. So yeah, is this game really 3%? It's crap, I know that much. There we go. Let's give it one more go before we conclude. See if I can get off level one, that'd be a nice change. That was my highest score ever, 34,000. See if I can beat that. I was actually hoping that that review was true and I could just stand there with my finger on the button and complete the game, but clearly uh, that is not the case. Best part of the game, actually, graphically, is the beginning bit. Oh, fuck you now. It's quite satisfying when you actually knock the little fuckers down, but yeah, it's not, not an inspiring uh, beat em up. Even Final Fight and the Amiga is better than this. That wasn't particularly a great conversion. It's a shame there weren't many beat em ups that were any good on the Amiga. That I remember. Double Dragon wasn't a particularly great pull. Renegade was an appalling bloody attempt. Maybe Double Dragon 2. Double Dragon 3 is about as bad as this. I love the head part. His face just don't look right. Reminds me of Family Guy and Peter Griffin does the old, uh, what are they called? He jumps off a roof, doesn't he, and breaks his neck. Jackass, that's it. Jackass clip. Oh, come on. Fucking have it. Don't do anything. It's certainly one of those games you wouldn't want to play for too long. You would get absolutely bored shitless of it. I'll be your dog. Got the Kiora man. Yes, yeah. Fuck off. More like it. Ah, oh, even a bit clever, are you? Ah, oh, you little bastards. Ah, 
That felt quite good. Dispatch them away quite easily. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, sprites are pretty big, I suppose. That's one nice touch. Must take turns, don't they? Yeah, very little variation in the backgrounds there. Got to be honest, a, bit, a little bit boring actually. Not sure what you can do with a crate. Probably far cool. Looks like I'm going to get about as far as I did before. It's not very bloody far. I'm impressed that that guy actually beat this game on his first attempt. That's quite impressive. Bit of eight-way scrolling going on there. It's pretty cool. Get straight in it. In a thick of things. Let's slow down. Oh no no no! What are you doing, mate? What are you doing? Jesus Christ! Kind of asked for that, didn't I? Amiga Power actually flipping played this game. Ain't that fucking easy? What the hell? Maybe I'm just fucking shit. Oh, come on, women, you keep flipping, get it up. That's it. I've had enough. Let's conclude and get out of this fucking nightmare. So, in conclusion, is this game worth 3%? I mean, to be fair, I probably would be inclined to go with the other magazines and give it sort of the low 30s, at late 20s, low 30s, but because it is a bloody poor game. It's one of those games that just does not capture your imagination. It won't, you won't be playing it for more than about 10 minutes before you get absolutely fucked off to playing it. The music is good, but it does jar after a while. Um, I enjoyed listening to the music more whilst editing this video, to be honest. I mean, the graphics are very dated, even for 1994. Um, the controls are quite sluggish, I've got to say. The animation is a bit grim. Not quite sure that flipping move that he does in the game is all about. It is quite funny to watch after uh, for a few times, but after that, Jesus Christ, it's got no bloody point at all in the game, I don't think. But yeah, I mean, again, the game is more sort of infamous now because of the score it got in Amiga Power. And that only allowed the game then to probably sell 2,000 uh, 2, units, which makes it a bit collectible now. It's one of the more expensive Psychonosis games to pick up, even though it's reduced in price over recent years. It's still probably in the top sort of 10, really. Probably in the top 5 in terms of cost. Um, but yeah, it's not really much else to say about a game that is pretty bloody awful, to be honest. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing. I'll see you guys again real soon. Take care. And bye for now.